Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Star Fox Adventures. Okay, tricky. You do not need to roll around. <laughs> Alright, so I hope you know what um, we have to be doing now, since, uh, yeah, I kind of spoiled that in the last part, but now we're finally getting ready to put back this spell stone and say goodbye to the Ocean Force Point Table for the rest of the game here. Yay! I love doing that. Oh, boy. I can't believe all this is going to finally happen, man. Seriously, guys. Alright, so... Don't go over there. There's pretty much just nothing over there. There's just gems. And I kind of did that in the last couple of tries to recording this video. So, and such. But anyways, uh, if I can hit this thing... What? I said if I can hit this thing... There we go. This grows up. And we can finally go into the portal. Alrighty then. Alrighty then. Ah. I don't know, I, I, I was just going to try that out and see if I would do that every single time Fox Warps, but I don't know what you guys think of that. But anyways, let's go and turn in the last ghost on baby year! Woo! I feel great! Fox feels great too, huh? And so does Tricky. And so does everyone else, I think. I don't know. Wait, who else was part of this? <laughs> I guess nobody. <laughs> okay, I lied about that. Anyways, let's watch this epic magic. Yeah! We did it, Fox! Guys, guys, are you seeing this? Mission complete! What's going on? We've placed all the spell stones. There must be more to it, Fox! Since you left Walt City, I've been studying your mission, and I've noticed there's something hidden at the top of that huge temple. It looks like a Krizoa Shrine entrance. Oh yeah, I could have told you that. Oh, come on. Let's get back to the hollow. Huh? What did you just say, Tricky? What? What? Hey! What? What? You s You son of a- Ah! Makes me so angry! I'm gonna pinch you! Ah! Ah! Okay. Alright. Whoa. Whoa. Hey, hey, whoa, whoa. Yes, yes, I know what to do there, Sleppy. Er, Sleppy? I mean, Slippy. <laughs> Okay, so avoiding you. I need some more gems. Alrighty, guys. Um, there's actually one more thing I want to take care of before I want to leave this place and never come back here ever, ever, ever again. Is remember when I blew down that rock from the last part? Well, I'm gonna go get that last upgrade now, cause I should say the last upgrades. I mean, not as important, but it's it, it could help you out, I guess, in the future. Um, but all it does is it pretty much just increases your last bit of um, energy meters from the staff. And I think that's about the only reason why I should get it, because it's, I don't know, comp completion of this game, I guess, maybe, or just to help you, you know, show you where it is and that sort of thing. But anyways, let's just head on over to the beach side. And I can't believe summer's almost over, I mean... I mean, time flies so fast when you're making LPs and such, and I think I started this, like, the beginning of summer, maybe? Or not beginning of summer, like, <laughs> the beginning of spring, spring section, but... And it was just falling to the hole! And such. But, yeah, I can't not believe this is, like, almost the end of summer. I mean, and pretty much almost the end of this uh, episode. Or, <laughs> this Let's Play, I should say. But let's use our power! I have the power! That was really bad, but whatever. See? There we go. Now we have twice as... or <laughs> so much times I can't even 
talk anymore about how many. Oh well. Anyways. So, I will meet you guys back at Thorntail Hollow. Alright, be right back. Okay, I'm back, guys. And before we move on here, there's going to be another cutscene that kind of explains what's going on and what's happening and such. Another drama, dramatic conclusion or whatever. But let's go ahead and talk to the queen, shall we? Fox, something is not right. The walled city has not yet returned to the planet. My husband is still stuck up there. You did return all of the spell stones. Of course, but wait. The spirits, they must have something to do with it. You're right. Without all the spirits, the magic cannot be channeled back into the planet. Your boss said to return to the walled city. There must be a shrine we've yet to find. Okay, first of all, Peppy's not my boss, alright? Or is he? I don't really know, because like, after he retired and such, I guess he was kind of taking order and such, but... Alright, anyways, let's um, head back to our Arwing, because we are indeed going back into Walt City to take care of that, that spell... Or not the spell stone, the uh, spir Krizoa spirit. And uh, Tricky, I hope you don't suffocate once more. Because <laughs> you never know, I could crash. What? Have you ever thought about that, Tricky? Could, would I ever crash and then you just, like, die in space? I mean... <laughs> Man, am I the only one who thinks that? <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, let's go inside here. And so, yeah, I basically can skip the asteroid stuff because we pretty much done this before. But yeah, I'm probably gonna meet you guys at the Vault City and such. So, uh, see you there. Okay, guys, we're finally at Vault City here. We can move on and get our Krizoa spirits now. First thing we should be doing here is we should talk to the King Earthwalker and see what he has to say now that this whole shenanigan stuff has been returned. Hopefully back to normal. No more red eyes, dinosaurs, whatever. Everything's peaceful. Oh well, let's just go ahead and talk to these guys here. Fox, on behalf of Dinosaur Planet, I thank you for returning the Spellstones to their rightful place. <laughs> for what good it did? If you didn't notice, you're still stuck up here in this floating rock. By removing the Spellstones, Scales caused our planet to tear apart. Returning the stones has stopped the flow of magic energy, but only by the power of the Krizoa spirits will the floating lands return. Seems like we both have our reasons for finding the last of the spirits. The Queen said I could find one here in the city. So where is it? The spirit will be revealed once both the Sun and Moonstones are returned to the temple. Okay, wait, what? M sun and the Moonstone, huh? Doesn't that sound like Pokemon reference, sort of? I don't know, am I the only one who thinks that? But, oh well. <laughs> Oh, uh, anyways, but it's true. I mean, come on. Seriously. Alright. Um, you could talk to these Earthwalker guys. They give you uh, some little hints and stuff. I mean, it, it might help out, too, if you get stuck. I mean, I don't really talk to them much, but I just did now. So, right now, we're going to take care of the first part, is, which is the sun, stu uh, the sun side of the uh, puzzle. Um... But, uh, let's see, we got some block puzzles first. Okay, uh, the first thing to do is push this right here. Then we push this one right here to that block. And such, and then you push it to that side. And then this one goes right here. And right there. And I practiced a lot, so I pretty much know what I'm doing here. So, and then you push that right here. And then you're done. Okay, and that thing opens, and then we uh, can jump up here, and then up, we're going to be reaching to the top of this part right here, so let's ride up this strange platform. Alright, now, you probably wouldn't reconsider this, but, you know, it's kind of strange, but when you take out your uh, goggles and zoom in on this thing here, it gets brighter and brighter, and when you zoom in close, oh, I'm blind! 
Yeah, I kind of never thought about that, huh? Look into the sun. Well, if you actually talk to one of the uh, Earthwalkers, they kind of give you a little secret about that and such. But anyways, now we're making inside to what I'd like to think of an actual Legend of Zelda thing. But <laughs> oops, not that I was looking for this. Uh, where is it? There we go. Let's destroy these fire pieces and such. Now for this puzzle right here, um, we need to put these blocks in their rightful spots and, and such. But and you can actually kind of tell their pictures. This moon, this moon block goes in right here, and the sun block <laughs> goes in that goes in these two things right here and such. Now I'm I'm not sure if I'm gonna be uh, I don't know if I have enough time to finish this segment of the uh, this Let's Play episode, but we'll see. Let's just push this block over here. That way I want to take care of the Moonstone. <laughs> moonstone. God. Making so many bad references right here. But anyways, push this and that way we fit this block in here. Okay, now uh, we can move this block out of the way. That's the one across goes on the opposite side. It would help if you actually go on this side and push it, thank you. Okay, now let's push that across. And uh, do the same thing for you and such. And I'll probably call this an end of the episode, like right around here. I know this is kind of an awkward place to stop, but I might as well because um, whatever. So next time we'll finish off this place and I'll see you guys later. Peace.